In the past few months, there has been a surge of interest in the outdoors, and in particular, wild camping. While much of this has been done responsibly, there has been a lot of cases where people have camped inappropriately, leaving their equipment and their litter behind like a scar on the countryside. Instead of moaning about the problem, I thought I'd be proactive and provide an insight into how I camp responsibly, some of the gear that I use and some of the choices I make while out on a camp. And hopefully, by doing this, can help any future wild campers make sensible choices. I arrived fairly late last night, which is good practice if you want to be discreet. I picked a nice, level spot, far away from any footpaths, with good cover from the wind. Here I'm using a sit pad that I made out of some old foam and insulation foil. It helps to keep my bone warm and dry and weighs a heck of a lot less than a camping chair. This is the container I use to hold methylated spirit, which I use as fuel for my stove. The stove that I'm using on this trip is the Alpkit Brewler, which costs around £25 from the Alpkit website. I don't usually bother with a kettle, as this 750ml pot can boil enough water for a coffee and some food, while also keeping a relatively low pack size and weight. I recently bought this three-piece cutlery set from Go Outdoors for around £2.50 and I've been really impressed with it. It came with me on a week-long trip to Scotland and worked really well for me. A really handy tip if you are heading out wild camping is to take a couple of Ziploc bags. They are really good for storing food and even better for storing your rubbish afterwards. The fact that they have a zip means that no rubbish will get in your bag and any smells will be kept to a minimum. I always like to pack a small cloth in my kit for drying out cups and pans after using them. I'll sometimes even use it to dry off any items that happen to get wet. If I'm camping on my own, then I always pack two head torches. This one was around £10 from Amazon. I won't go into too much detail about sleeping bags, as they really are a personal preference. Just be sure to pick up a bag with the right temperature ratings for the season you want to use it. The sleeping setup that I use is a combination of a sleeping bag, pillow and inflatable mat. All of this sits on top of a standard foam roll pad. Another little handy tip is to put all of your bags for your sleep system and gear into your empty tent bag. That way it's really easy to find when packing away in the morning. This is a great little inflatable pillow from Trekology. I picked this one up due to the soft removable cover that it comes with. The sleeping pad that I'm using is another one from Trekology, and to be honest, it's the best pad that I've ever used.
any old bit of elastic can come in really handy when trying to keep your foam roll mat rolled up and secure. The tent I use is the Lanshan 2, which uses trekking poles to pitch instead of traditional tent poles. It's a very affordable lightweight tent and can be found on the AliExpress website. The blue sheet I'm using here is a footprint to help protect the base of the tent. I cut this myself from a cheap bit of tarpaulin. Now we're all packed away, it's time to start packing the rucksack. I usually start with my sleeping bag and tent stuffed into the bottom of my pack. I then usually follow this with any bit of clothing, cookware or cutlery that needs to go in. And of course, don't forget to pack your Ziploc bag full of your rubbish. Once you're packed away and ready to go, it's always a good idea to do a quick sweep of the area just to check that you haven't left anything behind. I hope you enjoyed this video and managed to take something useful from it. I feel that now more than ever we need to be trying our hardest as a collective to keep our countryside clean and tidy. If you are considering your first wild camp then please act responsibly and help to look after our beautiful countryside. Finally, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Feel free to ask me any questions if you feel I've missed something and let me know if you'd like to see more of this style of video in the future. Take care and thanks for watching.